New at 9, a decades-old missing persons case in Phoenix gets a big break. Through the use of DNA technology, a Jane Doe now has her name back, and her family is hoping the public can help catch her killer. Lori Long Chase went missing in July of 1983 when she was just about 17 years old. Phoenix police investigated the case thoroughly, but it took over 40 years for her family to finally get some answers. Fox 10's Nicole Christine sat down with Lori's sister today and shares why this case is part of a bigger issue in a story you'll only see on Fox 10. Well, good evening, guys. Memory Dawn Longchase tells me that if she could say one thing to her beloved older sister, Lori, after all these years, it would be this. I never forgot you. And it's because she never forgot and because she continued to search for answers that now Memory has the chance to lay her older sister to rest. Remember that I loved her. Although memory Dawn Longchase was only five years old when her sister Lori went missing in 1983, she has many fond memories of Lori, including the time her older sister bought her a Snow White in the Seven Dwarves book with the money from her first job. Original storyboards and the, and the original concept drawings and the character drawings and it, just the whole process, and I loved it. And I would take it to her and my mom all the time to read it, and then, well, that's why they taught me how to read. <laughs> Lori went missing in the summer of 1983, just after she had a baby, who died when he was just four days old. Later that summer, the body of a young female was found in an irrigation ditch in the East Valley and was determined to be a homicide victim. But since Lori had been adopted, there was no DNA evidence to connect the body to her. Memory says she ramped up the search for answers in 2021 after a niece told her to look at a composite of the Jane Doe found in the ditch. And that page two composite drawing is identical to the last picture that I have of her, even down to the feathered hair that was very popular in the 80s. When I called the detective, you know, they had no idea who this body was. Um, I said, I think that's my sister. In order to find a DNA match for Lori, detectives had one lead, the son Lori had lost before her death. They had to exhume the baby's body and test those remains, and these are 40-year-old remains, right? Memory says the department had to apply for funding to carry out the DNA testing, but eventually the remains were determined to be a match just last month. After 41 years, the science was able to give her name back. And so I guess I have every reason to hope that science can bring her justice, too. Justice that memory says is not found nearly enough when indigenous women go missing or are murdered. This is a very real issue, and I, I want to share Lori's story so that we can bring this to everybody. People need to know this is happening, that we are dying. And and people should keep Men. Memory has dedicated her life to advocating for indigenous women, and she says it's no co coincidence that that's her line of work. She has planned a memorial for both her sister Lori and her infant son. It's set for tomorrow afternoon at a Catholic church in Levine. Now, if you have any information about Lori Longchase's murder, you're asked to call Silent Witness at 480-WITNESS. Reporting live tonight in Gilbert, Nicole Christine, Fox 10 News. Wow, Nicole, what a story, and so glad the family finally has some answers after all these years.